Nollywood is a sobriquet that originally referred to the Nigerian film industry, but over the years has also been used to refer to English-language Ghanaian films, which are usually co-produced with Nigeria and or distributed by Nigerian companies, as well as Nigerian diaspora films considered to be affiliated with Nigeria or made specifically to capture the Nigerian audience. The origin of the term dates back to early 2000s, traced to an article in the New York Times. Etymology, the origin of the term Nollywood remains unclear. Jonathan Haynes traced the earliest usage of the word to a 2002 article by Matt Steinglass in the New York Times, where it was used to describe Nigerian cinema. The term continued to be used in the media to refer to the Nigerian film industry, with its definition later believed to be a portmanteau of the words Nigeria, and Hollywood, the American major film hub. Definition of which films are considered Nollywood has always been a subject of debate. Alex Iriano defined Nollywood as the totality of activities taking place in the Nigerian film industry, be it in English, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Itsakiri, Edo, Efik, Ijaw, Yoruba or any other of the over 300 Nigerian languages. He further stated that the historical trajectory of Nollywood started since the pre- and post-independent Nigeria, with the theatrical and cinematic, efforts of the likes of Chief Hubert Ogund, Chief Amata, Baba Sala, Aid Love, Eddie Upboma and a few others. Some stakeholders have constantly expressed their disagreement over the term. Giving reasons such as the fact that term was coined by a foreigner, as such another form of imperialism. It has also been argued that the term is an imitation of what was already in existence rather than an identity in itself, that is original and uniquely African. Sub-industries equals Nigerian cinema equals equals Ghanaian English language cinema equals equals Nollywood USA equals Nollywood at 20 controversy, in 2012, it was announced that Nollywood would be celebrating its 20 years anniversary. This year marked the 20th year after the release of direct-to-video movie Living in Bondage, which marked the boom in the video film era. The anniversary was eventually celebrated in June 2013. The event was later revealed to be a decision of a segment of the industry and not a unanimously agreed event. The event was organized by Association of Movie Producers, an association consisting of producers of video films. Since announcement of the Nollywood at 20 event in 2012 till its celebration in 2013, the event had sparked controversies from many stakeholders, most of whom believed the industry was much older than 20 years. Since Nollywood has been a term for the entire Nigerian film industry, it was argued that living in bondage cannot be used to celebrate the Nigerian film industry, stating that the film wasn't in fact the first Nigerian video film. Neither was it the first successful video film, much less the first Nigerian film. This controversial celebration also gave rise to reports that another segment of the industry, the Association of Nigeria Theatre Arts Practitioner are planning to rename the industry into another term which would encompass the entire history of Nigerian film industry, since the term Nollywood has allegedly become tribally dichotomized. While it was argued by supporters of the event that it was the Nollywood brand that was being celebrated and not the industry, counter-arguments were made that the term Nollywood came into existence only in the 2000s, so explanations were needed on how the Nollywood brand could be extended to the year 1992 which isn't specifically significant in any way, and why not just to the very first Nigerian film that was made. Alex Irianu had noted in a 2012 article that the term Nollywood was absent during the formative years of both the video film era and the Golden Age. Sona Para, in his article on 360knobs.com stated, it's either the promoters of the event didn't do their research well or intentionally do not want to reckon with history. Adag Boy Igoinia comments, I don't know what they are talking about by celebrating Nollywood at 20 feet. Are they celebrating Ramsey Tokenbo Nama or Genevieve Najai? Probably, they are celebrating fortune. These people should stop deceiving Nigerians. Some media outlets also reported that the event was a result of greed and selfish interests, as the organizers visited political figures to solicit funds in the name of the industry, but allegedly shared the funds raised amongst themselves. Another issue raised to fault the event is that the real achievers in Nollywood were not honored 
but rather the practitioners at almost the same level with the organizers of the supposed flawed event were honored. Several filmmakers and stakeholders expressed their displeasure with the supposed false celebration. Kun Lafalayan commented, The whole idea of Nollywood at 20 does not make sense to me because the Nollywood that I know is more than 20 years. I remember my father shot a film about 37 years ago and I also grew up in the industry. As far as I'm concerned, it's absolute crap. In another interview, he stated, if Nollywood is the name that people decide to call the movie industry in Nigeria, then I am part of it. If Nollywood is what they say is 20 years, then I am not part of that Nollywood because I have been doing film business for more than 30 years now. Jide Kosoko also commented, the Nigerian movie industry as far as I'm concerned is not 20 years. If we all truly belong to the same industry, then the industry I belong to is not 20 years. There is a need to tell the world the sincere story of our industry and don't rubbish the pioneers. As far as I am concerned, what they're celebrating is living in bondage and not Nollywood. Tan Kalani stated, How will Nollywood be celebrating 20 years and I am over 40 years in the industry? President of Actors Guild of Nigeria at the time, Iban Abofi Saima, admitted that Nollywood is more than 20, but gave what was considered an unconvincing statement on the reason behind the event, stating, it's about celebrating our own even though Nollywood is more than 20 years. It's been long that people have been celebrating us but right now, we are celebrating ourselves and giving lots back to the society. It's a good step we have taken especially now that the qualities of our movies have improved. References <laughs>